House Bill HB 2052. Short title, Homeowners Associations Political Community Activity. Uh, this bill was introduced by uh, Representative uh, Kavanaugh of uh, LD23, and it's going to be heard in the Senate Government Committee on Monday the 1st. And uh, this, uh, this bill is one that has generated some controversy, believe it or not. Uh, you would think that, the, that mm -hmm. it wouldn't. Uh, essentially what it does is that it reduces the homeowners association's ability uh, to suppress First Amendment rights of its residents. But the bill itself is quite long and, and convoluted and it seems to have uh, some discrepancies. But let me tell you what the arguments have been one way or the other. Uh, the argument against this bill is that, look, uh, you are in a homeowners association. You chose to be there, okay? You signed a contract, okay? And you need to abide by that contract. And if that contract says that you cannot f uh, have a meeting, a political meeting, if that contract says that you cannot fly a flag, um, then so be it. The other argument is that that's too well and good when it uh, pertains to other things, but when it pertains to the First Amendment, your ability to do your political speech, that then that should not apply. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not sure how a homeowners association uh, rules can supersede the con U.S. Constitution, but I'm, you know, I'm, that's basically what some of them do. Yeah, well, it, yeah. It, it's common. It's common. This happens a lot with uh, homeowners associations. That's why you won't catch me <laughs> in, a, in a home. I, I've been in a homeowners association before, folks. I have no. I want no part of it. Okay. And not, not just for this, but a, a variety of other reasons. But in any event, uh, this is a bill that uh, we supported in the past, and still, uh, it's, uh, I think it's a good bill. And uh, if you're still contacting your legislators, uh, this would be one to uh, contact and say uh, yes to the bill. Do I get to talk now? I thought you had already talked. No, I'm, I haven't even gotten started yet. Well, go ahead. Oh, what are you okay. waiting for? All right, I'll get started now. Uh, and, and you, well, you forgot to raise your hand. That's what happened. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, this, th this bill purpo uh, purports to amend two code sections, 33-621 and 33-1808. Um, now, it starts off in 13-1261 saying that you, the, the Homeowners Association can't make uh, uh, any rules that prohibit the flying of certain types of flags. And one of those is the U.S. flag, the POWMIA flag, the Arizona state flag, the Arizona Indian Nations flag, and the Gadsden flag, okay? Then in the next, and these are already existing, but I mean, they're kind of inconsistent, and, you, and I think the legislature, members of the legislature probably should read them. Then it goes <laughs> on to say that the Homeowners Association <laughs> shall make reasonable rules and regulations for flying of the flags. But when you look, I've seen say, uh, uh, paragraph one, section A, mentions the Gasden flag. Paragraph B drops out the Gasden flag. So they don't have to make any rules concerning the flying of the Gasden flag. Uh, the other thing, of course, I mean, that, you know, that, to me that's no big deal, but you know, if you're gonna be consistent, be consistent all the way through it, and they're not being consistent all the way through it. Um, now, the other thing is that and this section uh, 1261, it has a provision that, okay, you can post political signs, but if you're gonna post political signs, then the political signs can't be more than nine square feet in size, okay? So that kind of, you know, three by three, okay? But suppose you wanna put up a sign for hmm, five candidates. Does that 95 square feet apply to each sign, or does it apply to the total of all five of the signs? That's not clear either, okay? Now, if we move on over to 18, section 1808, it has the same rules about the same five flags, and it still leaves out the Gasden flag. But, understand too, that in 1808, there's no mention of the size of the political signs that you can have. 1261 says nine square feet. 18, eight, 
1808 doesn't mention any size at all. So you, I suppose that you could go in and have enough signs in your yard, I mean, maybe 1,000, 2,000 square feet. It's totally blank, it, you know. Maybe the legislators, when they're drafting these amendments, they should pr probably read the bill to try to figure out what it says before they amend it and try to make them consistent. But maybe, maybe we're just reaching too far out there to, to expect that. Could well, be. look, look, with 1,800 bills introduced, okay, how do you expect the legislators to read the bill? Yeah, just wait until that bill passes that gives us, you know, an additional 30 members. You, you got to, to pass it so you know what's in it. Come on. Now we're going to be in real trouble when that passes. Yeah.